I'm gonna call this video just me, authentically me. So, this will be me just being supremely me the entire time. <laughs> and maybe if you're keeping count, you can maybe hear how many times I say the word me. So that being a monster, I mean monster, well, I'll be the only me monster on Earth, so I'll just be the meanest monster on Earth. And if you don't like monsters, well, you should definitely check out Monsters Inc. and Monsters University. And I'll just be one of those monsters. I'll, at least I'll check out the company. I'll see if I can apply for a job, pass desk job. I'll, be, I'll at least be like, you know, I don't know. I'll be in sales. How about that? Uh, yeah, I just think you want me. I can sell myself. <laughs> but hey, you gotta check out my channels to, to, to get it. So if you wanna read my resume? It's a, it's a long one. It's all the channels on YouTube that are that are. Or it's all sorry, all the videos on YouTube on my channel. So um, anyway, um, this is a university. Um, I would just ask you, do you even go here? Um, what, 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 what house are you in? Uh, what uh, where do you live? Because this is this is the um, Delta Omicron Pie House, and I'm 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 I'm, I'm the meat monster. So <laughs> anyway. Um, about me, I'm a regular guy. I'm honestly um, just being myself. <laughs> I'm not like trying to do anything ulterior. Um, this is, by the way, Mr. Reynolds' word, who was my vocabulary teacher in high school, and he was a very good vocabulary teacher. He learned me. He, he sorry, he taught me more vocabulary than like any other person on earth I could even imagine. So he's the reason that I have um, a good vocabulary, I'd say. So um, I thank him for that, and um, he's the reason. Um, Why well, not? He's just a good teacher. So anyway. Um, Apart from that, um, I'll say the word meme one more time. Me, just because I can. So there, it's a meme monster. Um, I also, fun fact, I used to think that memes were pronounced memes. So, um, whatever, whatever. I, I think I might have said that to my friend, to my friend Vic, who was my roommate at the time. And I might have said that, like, oh, yo, have you seen this, like... I, I forgot, I don't even know what I was talking about. But anyway, so I, I, I used the word meme. And um, he um, he was like... But I use it, like, my parents used it me, me. But, no, I, I thought the press memes. That's what it was. It's exactly right. And he's, he's like, he's like, no, the press memes. And I was like, oh, okay, got it. So I like made note of that, and I never, never made the mistake again. So, um, also, I used to, I used to check out memes a lot when I was in um, college because they were all over Reddit. So like back in that day, memes were like everywhere on Reddit and on like the internet. But nowadays, it's like not about that. It's like all about discussion. Or I don't even know what Reddit's about nowadays. I posted this video on Reddit the other day about how one time I was standing outside the lid store. And I was just waiting for the mall to open, and I was like really bored. I was waiting for the store to open. I was waiting for the lid store to open, actually, because the mall was technically open. If if you had to be technical about it, and I mean, I mean, technically it was open, but like Jesus, like do you really need to do this? <laughs> and um, the mall was uh, was open, but the lid store was not yet, not till ten o'clock. So I was waiting out there, and I was like, you know, I have a whole hour to blow. What am I gonna do for an hour? And I had my phone with me. I was like, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try recording a whole hour of stand up comedy or of stand up of me just like standing outside here talking into my um, phone. So I did. I just like pulled my phone and just like. I was like, I'm just, I was like, I'm just gonna go for it, and I'll see if I can do a full hour. Or I, it, it wasn't, there wasn't no do not. It was just like in my world, it's like it's like what Yoda says. There's no do not. There's no, there's no try, only do. So I just hit the record button and start talking, and I managed to do the full like hour ish of stand up. I think I do have like 53 minutes, and I was like, at this point, I was like, you know what? I think I should just go inside and check the lit store because it's like getting to the point where I should just go inside. So I did. But needless to say, I completed that challenge. So um, if you want to see it, it's on my channel. It's under. Um, uh, one hour, my one hour improv improv stand up. I ended up. I oh, I, I do know this, but I was gonna say I titled the whole thing um, "Eating, Drinking, and Traveling." Or no, I think I, I think I titled it "Eating, Drinking, and Doing Work," because um, that's like the three things I mentioned in the, in the video. Anyway, um, um, if you if you're interested in stand up or if you if you haven't seen this video before, check it out. Let me know what you think. Um, but anyway, um, I'll say the word "me" one more time. Me. <laughs> um, Yes, this is me. Um, I do um, professionally what I do, which is I just like talk about whatever I think is interesting, whatever I find is like cool or what would be like topically relevant or I think what would be like something interesting to talk about. So, um, but at the end of the day, I do me. So, you know, I, and, but what that means is like if you heard that rapper say that, that line, like I'm gonna do me, and, and then the follow up thing is like you do you, then that's, that's what I do. So, you know. And um, I think I'm the only contender for doing me, so you know I, I, I do me quite well in my opinion. I give myself an A, an A, you know, 100 percent, not 100 percent. So I think I think I did quite well. <laughs> um, but then again, you know, everyone's busy doing their own thing. So I think I think I just won by default. So I don't know. Maybe I just slide along, sliding along, taking the easy road. <laughs> Who knows? I don't know. Maybe the hard girl should come to me instead. <laughs> just kidding. Oh, it's me, 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 though. Me, 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 me. Just <laughs> in, case you're, in case you're wondering. <laughs> anyway, uh, back to what I was saying and doing. Um, <laughs> I was, uh, I'm, st I'm still talking about, you know, me on YouTube. <laughs> um, I love um, just, you know, going about life and just seeing what adventures and um, challenges present themselves and the meaning of those challenges and uh, going on those adventures and exploring in the ways that um, Earth is meant to be explored because it's a beautiful planet. 
So I gotta say, uh, if you're new to the whole life is an oyster and make it yours kind of thing, there's nothing stopping you from, you know, living life with that kind of mentality and mindset. So by all means, go be about that and live that kind of mindset in that life. And uh, if um, you find that there's anything stopping you in real life, know that it could just be your own, um, what would you call that thing? That's I'm wondering now. If it's like, when, like there's nothing actually stopping you, but you're trying to like tell yourself there's something stopping you. I don't know. It's just one of those, those weird things. It's like a fake wall. <laughs> but then Rick and Morty the next season, the fake walls. <laughs> anyway, that, it's the, the guy, the guy who sells, who sells fake doors. Like his new expansion of his business. He sells fake wall now. Who knows? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> anyway, um, the uh, entirety of let me think. Um, me can be stuff by one word. And that's me. <laughs> If you're, if you're new to me, let me just start you off with a, with a basic intro kit. It's me. So, hi, hi guys. This is me. <laughs> um, if you if you see me for the first time, um, hi. Still me. I'm just still keep doing me. So. <laughs> um, I'm not gonna change my name for you because I'm pretty comfortable being me. Um, if there are other options available, I'd be confused because the other option in my world is me. <laughs> anyway, um, it's it's a. Uh, er, uh, it's uh, I don't know. You know, it's it's, um, it's very interesting meeting other people in the world though, because everyone's different, and I, it's interesting seeing other people like get a taste of me, so to speak, for the first time and just like see what their friends are. My um, my roommate's senior year in college described me as being the most eccentric person on earth, and um, uh, I think I think what he finally ended up with is like Henry is just Henry, and that's like his best way of describing me. And I was like, see, that is well put, because I am just me. <laughs> so like, yeah, right? <laughs> anyway, um, I'm quite I'm quite an individual, but specifically so to the point where like if you've never met someone like me before it's just quite specifically because you've never met me before so um i hope uh you get on the gist of me because it'll give you a much easier time of just getting to know me as me <laughs> being me so yes that <laughs> but um anyway uh if you're new to uh, being around me you might just uh, have to have to adjust or acclimatize because I'm quite me on a scale of uh, what to me, I'm me. So, you know, uh, that's, that's how that went. Um, also, you should talk to the, to the other guy, the, the, guy, the dictator, because um, on my scale, there's just me and me. So if you, don't, if you can't tell the difference, you're just kind of, you know, you're out of luck, buddy. <laughs> I don't know, but I think that guy's HIV all the so. <laughs> Anyway, um, I am my world. am the star of my own show, but you and your world are free to star in your own show. So I'm not competing on you. Um, I'm just saying, um, I like in my world being me. <laughs> I'm the me as me that I've ever encountered, so I'm just gonna say that I win by default. <laughs> um, I don't, uh, I don't know what. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. Oh, I just, I just love this color blue. By the way, I just noticed this on my shirt. And I was like, this is the most beautiful color blue I've ever seen in my life. Um, I don't have a name for it, but it's just like the nicest blue on earth. If I just said Henry Tani's the nicest blue on earth, in, in my own humble opinion, in the in the own in the own humble opinion of Henry Tani, then that would just be the exact thing that I'd describe this as. Because there is no better color I like in the entire world. This is actually one of my favorite blue in the entire world. Speaking of which, this is my favorite sweatpants in the entire world. Can I just show you what I'm wearing real fast? <laughs> uh, also, I'm very eager to put that shirt on, but I'm looking at it, I was like, maybe I'll change hats. I don't know. These are my sweatpants. These are my favorite sweatpants in the entire world. They're really nice. It's the leg. I'm also gonna grab a hat. Uh, what do I want to wear? I can wear my Angels hat. Oh, that's great. Favorite hat. Do you guys know anybody? That's one of my favorite hats in the entire world. And this is my hat. It's my uh, it's my H hat. So my name is Henry. So whenever I see this hat, whenever I saw this hat for the first time, I was like, no way. This is the coolest thing. Because I, I used to love watching the movie Van Wilder. Uh, with uh, Ryan Reynolds, so whenever I saw that that little like Easter egg, I don't know if you know it or not, but he wears a Volkswagen hat and his name is Van Wilder, so it's like the coolest thing ever. And when I saw this hat at the lid store one day, I was like, no way, I can get that, and it's like my name. Uh, so like, in my world, it's like almost almost monogram, but not quite, but not really. I mean, so it's just a cool thing. I don't know, but anyway, that's essentially how I live my life. I'm like a party animal, but like more of a party party liaison. So if you guys want to party. Um, come, come see me, and we'll hook, we'll set something up, and you know we'll have a good time. But um, anyway, um, I'm down to uh, you know, I don't know, do some other stuff on YouTube. I'm down, I'm down for three things that I can think of off the top of my head. I'm down to do some um, some collaborations in regards to podcasting and co-hosting. I'm super down to um, to do some challenges. I'd love to do some of those, and I'm super pumped to like build a community. And I'd love to meet more of you guys. Um, if you'd love to like, if you like 
would want to follow me on YouTube, um, I'd love for you to comment, subscribe, and I'd love for you to um, be more a part of this kind of cultural movement or trend that I'm trying to start, which is more towards the fun side of life. And um, definitely follow us. Stay tuned for more interesting things. And um, if you like um, where the rest of things going, just just comment, subscribe, and you know, I love to get you guys more actively involved in um, well. I say both and well and everything that's going on really, but I was in my life specifically, but like not too specifically because like you don't know me personally, so I don't like you know make these promises but like because like I don't, I don't know if I can I have time to meet like every one of you, but if, if I if I cut it good, <laughs> who knows? But anyway, um, and to uh, get you more involved in my life, um, but more sort of like life events I guess maybe or or however however so I I couldn't even tell you. <laughs> but anyway, um, I uh, I do want to say that I also. I do want to say that this, um, you only live once, and this is the motto that I grew up with, and that you should live it the best way you see fit, and you should live it to the 100% of whatever you view your gradient scale as being for however you would measure that. <laughs> also, don't live your life to someone else's standards, because you'll end up wasting your time doing it, because you should live the life you want to live, which should be your life, because your life is always your best life. So, um, that's all I'm saying. But anyway, um, the last thing... Why don't I listen to this? Oh, it's already 11 minutes. Okay, the last thing I want to mention in this video is, um, well, I don't know. I'm going to put this watch on. And Simon from uh, Sidemen, if you want to come and try this watch on, you're still welcome to. I'm just saying that. I'm just that as a challenge. Uh, I, I don't know. It's just like, I just say things sometimes, don't ask questions, man. It's just, it's just a thing. Don't worry about it. Maybe you're a wingman. Maybe you, maybe you knew it. Maybe you're just a sideman for, for a front man's wingman. Who knows? <laughs> but anyway. Um, if you wanna, if you wanna come anywhere else this time, you wanna meet me. I'd love to collaborate with you guys, or to meet with you specifically, or with your, you and your friends. Cause I don't know, I just feel like it'd be a cool thing to do. So um, drop me a line or leave a comment below, and I'd love to uh, hear from you and um, you know know how our friends across the pond are doing. So anyway, as um, also Australia, you gotta step up too. I want, I want to see, I want to see a channel on YouTube at some point called Frontman. So just saying, uh, I feel like that'd be something really cool and really awesome to follow and uh, get involved with, so, you know, keep us keep us posted and um, keep us uh, in the loop, and I'd love to, you know, see what you guys are up to and see, see what's going on in your community, and, uh, you know, see if we can collaborate on something or, you know, whatever else. But anyway, uh, this is Jonathan Henry, Itani, signing off, aka Special K, so I'll see you guys later.